I will teach you how to use one such build tool, which is called Grunt. And I'm going to help you get started with Grunt. So right now, which I have actually cloned the project into my local repository, and it actually resides inside the downloads folder. I'm going to open my terminal and install something called Node.js. Um, Node.js is a scalable application that will help you, you know, create all the necessary build tool requirements, all the files that you need for your um, optimization. So right now, what I have to do is you can go to Node.js and directly install it from here. Um, so if you go into the downloads, um, you can see that you have a Windows installer, a Mac, and you have the source code. Um, so since I'm on a Mac, I am going to be in installing that package that is already given to me. What I'm going to do is I am going to initialize an npm command into my uh, project repository. So to initialize npm, I need a JSON file that will um, actually point me to the name of the project and the dependencies I am giving for this project. For example, you, you now see my package.json open, which I have actually put inside my root directory. Um, so what package.json essentially has is a name for my grunt project. So I've just named it example project, and I've given it a version. This is going to be my first 1.0 version. So that, that is the version number. And there is an in dependencies that you have to provide, um, which is called dev dependencies, which tells you which build tool I'm using. So you have a lot of build tools, mm -hmm. Grunt, Gulp. So I'm going to be using Grunt. And I have specified the version of Grunt, 4.1 and above versions, are going to be supported. Okay. Um, so right now, what I'm going to do is sudo npm install. So I did a sudo npm install just to install npm command. What I do after the npm install is to run, run CLI. Um, and once that is done, what I have to do is I have a file called gruntfile.js, which, again, you guys will be creating something where you actually specify all the grunt modules that you are going to be importing to use Grunt to run specific tasks. So for instance, I am going to use an uglify um, <laughs> package that is going to minify my JS files. And make it so, very ugly code. Yeah, that's why you call it uglify <laughs> like there. Um, so as you can see, it says module.exports equals function grunt. So this is going to be the grunt file that the grunt uh, function is going to take in. And it's going to look at all the tasks that I have defined. Um, so it says that I am going to build on this source, which is this JS file. And the destination is going to be this JS file. And then I'm going to load the NPM tasks um, using this package. And then I'm going to register th this task. So when I run the grunt command, it is supposed to run um, this uglify package. And it is going to give you a minified version of your JavaScript. The next step of this would be to actually install this package. Um, so the save dependencies is actually going to save the package name into your JSON file. So I'm going to copy it. And what I'll do is I will replace this with the Uglify package that I have installed right here. And I'm going to replace this name here and then give a save yeah. um, So let's see what this returns. Hopefully, this will execute. And it says, I have an error. So it says, please try running this command as a root or an administrator. So I probably should have to give sudo here, since um, I am authorizing it as the root. So once I do that, um, I feel like Uglify is going to load. And it's loading. And it looks like Uglify got installed. I can check this by going to my package.json. And you can see this here. Um, Uglify shows up here. Um, after this, once I have actually um, downloaded the package, 
I just run grunt from here. And it's going to take in, and it says, uh, running uglify build, one file created, which should be my minified file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate, and inside my JS, you can see I have my minified file mm -hmm. that Grunt yeah. created. Um, so as you can see, you have other packages on um, Grunt, like um, image minification, mm -hmm. HTML minification, right. JS hint file, uh, packages, right. and other ones that will help you um, go ahead um, actually making your content in your website efficient yeah. and render efficiently. So the reason, what's the reason mm -hmm. to use Grunt, right? Like it mm -hmm. seems like a fair amount of work to get set up using Grunt, mm -hmm. but then why, what's the value, why do people do it? So one thing is Grunt helps you separate your development and production version of code, mm -hmm. so you still keep, still get to keep the unminified code, which is very useful for development, right? right? Minified code is not readable. You're not able to see what you have actually created. So it's going to be very ugly. You need to uh, unminify it and then use it. But with Grunt, you can get to keep your development code and yeah. you know produce a set of other code that can be used to run your website. Right. So that is one reason why you have to so, use Grunt. Given like mm -hmm. how often we make mm -hmm. changes to our projects mm -hmm. that we might start, you know, when we start a project, we want to mm -hmm. just get something going. We iteratively develop, we incrementally mm -hmm. build up. Mm -hmm. So each time you can kind of test your code and you can just run grunt, mm -hmm. it builds everything. Mm -hmm. You have your production level mm -hmm. website code, so you mm -hmm. can push it out, it runs. But then when you want to make changes, you just run grunt again, mm -hmm. rather than having to manually minify right. every time mm -hmm. or run each of these scripts. It, mm -hmm. it manages all of that for you. Yeah. So it's sure. worth the setup. It's <laughs> worth doing these things sure. at the beginning for your project. Mm -hmm. And then the more you do it, the easier it gets. Yeah, and so. this file can be used for your other projects as well. Your package.json and your grunt.grunt.file.js can be used for your other codes, only that you have to alter the path that you give mm -hmm. inside that you are targeting. But you can use this as a standard for all your projects right. for you know, building your production code.